Hello everyone and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion on the Nintendo GameCube. I am one well cheap. Oh my kidding, I'm Luigi. And today we're going to actually finish off this part of the game. But for some reason there's a ghost in here. I, I thought I caught the ghost in the previous part. I'm confused. Alright, no, it was just a bomb. Do you want some? No, I don't want any, but they gave it to me anyway. Damn game. But anyway, this here is the observatory and is the room where we're actually going to get hold of Luigi, not Luigi's, Mario's final item. The very final item that Mario took into this mansion with him. So, what we're going to do is actually just press the A button on this here telescope. Uh, I sure hope nothing happens to that moon. We are on the same on the same console Sonic Adventure 2 came on after all. But anyway, what we need to do is actually get hold of a yellow thing that sort of pops down of this room. This room confused me, I don't understand where we are. We're like in another dimension shooting things at a moon in space. I have no idea. But either way, we need to pick up pick down these yellow things and shoot them at the moon. Very hard to aim, but if you can get the aim right, then uh this will happen. Ah oh dear god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that moon gets a lot of punishment in this era of gaming, seriously. Some random in Sonic Adventure, you get that laser beam blows up half the moon. In this game, we blow up the moon. It that that thing I'd hate to be the moon. <laughs> it really would. But anyway, right over by here, now that you're in his trailer spawn on this rainbow road, if you will, Mario's star is in the middle of the moon that we destroyed. So, yeah, be sure to pick it up. Pick up Mario's star and we'll be able to move on. So, where do we go next? Where is next on the agenda? Well, if you press the Z button, you can see that little inventory screen, which I did that just to make sure that I have all Mario's items. Now, we're going to go back down to Madame Clairvoya, you know, the... You remember her, the one with the crystal ball that we can't actually do anything with. While we're in this part, we're going to have a very, very, very lengthy conversation with her. And unfortunately, because I can't really talk through dialogue and all that well, most of it's probably going to be me doing silly voices. I hope you like my voice acting, because you got to get a lot of it. <laughs> probably not, but... Either way, we do need to go all the way back down here so we can give uh, Clairvoya all Mario's items. And she'll give us a little bit of advice what exactly is going on in terms of plot progression. Because at this point in time, we have absolutely no idea why Mario's captured, apart from the fact King Boo has some sort of weird grudge against him. Against him. What is this object of you? Blah, 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 Mario's glove, blah, blah. Jesus, I'm, I'm, the text is scrolling so fast I can't actually read it. Goes to show I really did want to skip this part. But basically, if you want to read this, feel free to. But basically, Claire Voya here will read out her, her readings from each of these items. And uh, we'll see a couple of things, uh, tidbits of information, that even give light into where in the Mario, you know, what time in the Mario universe this game takes place, canonically. But anyway, uh, what do we find? What clues do we have to give? Well, we need to give her all four. All is there four or five items on? Glove, shoe, star, hat. Glove, shoe, star, hat. Yeah, all four items. I... Yeah, four. Okay, I, my brain is just dying by here. <laughs> anyway, what do these spirits tell us this time? Tell us, Madame Clairvoy, the mystical. Mario's been imprisoned in a painting. No! You don't say! We saw that painting a few parts ago, in fact. You're useless, Madame Clairvoy. But I think we're meant to really bring the items back to her as we actually collect them throughout the play the game when we first pick them up. But I never do that. I always collect all the items, then progress back to her after I got all of them. Anyway, what awful things are occurring tonight? See what else is she can tell us. Please be something interesting. King Boo, we we saw him at the very start. Come on now, you're useless. Seriously, Madame Clairvoyer doesn't really give us much information we can really bank on. To be honest, the only thing she really mentions that's of any real value is she mentions Bowser. And she mentions the fact that how can she see Bowser, because Bowser's dead. And as far as I know, Bowser's never been killed in a Mario franchise, so this takes place in front after every other Mario game. So therefore, technically, this is at the very end of the Mario series. 
Hmm. And then Bowser still goes go-karting. He must be a ghost. Oh! Actually, it makes sense in this universe, to be honest. Someone's just washed it. Why did she... Why would you shout that out? It's just really weird. Oh, yeah, this hat. It's just been washed. Someone must have did it. I'm a man. Or oh, man, Clairvoy, if you will. Seriously, though, this scene does go on way too long for what it is. It's just... There we go. She's going on about Bowser by here. This, this scene just goes on really, really long time. It just drags on. But fortunately, that this was the very final item we gave Madame Claire Voice, and now we can actually return to her painting satisfied. And she says she's gonna go in peace, but uh, that's a flat out lie, because when you try and suck her up, instead of going down one go, oh no, she's gonna fight. She's gonna fight her heart out. Or she's, or she's practicing for the Winter Olympic Games. I have absolutely no idea. She, either way, she's either prancing to swim, or she's putting up one hell of a fight. But then again, she doesn't really stop you, so I guess that's one thing. I just think it's a waste of time giving her 100 health. It should have given her like 0 health if they wanted it, so... She's an easy catch for you. Either way, that's Madame Clairvoy done and dusted. And of course, we also haven't got the boo in this room yet, so we can get the boo in a minute. As soon as we collect the key. It's actually quite shocking how, much, how many keys we get in this little... This little tiny area of the game. But there's the third floor, which is actually heading on up to the boss of this area. And that's right, folks, in this part, we're gonna be finishing up this area. Booigi. 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 Oh, God. It's like Waluigi all over again. And you know what I feel about Waluigi? He bugs me. He bugs Luigi to no end. Him and his dreaded. Wah. Waluigi. Ah. <laughs> what? But anyway, uh, there's that boo over and done with, so we're going to progress on up to the third floor so we can actually get hold of the final boss of this stage. And the final boss of this actual area, this third chapter of the game, if you will, <coughs> burp, he is not a very nice boss. <laughs> he takes so long to kill. And in fact, he's just extremely stressful. So there we go, let's go all the way up the stairs. Do, 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 do. And of course, go down to the very bottom of the hallway in the second floor where we haven't seen yet. Nah, 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 nah. Oh my god, look at his nose wiggle when he's walking. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's, I just noticed a little attention to detail with his nose bouncing. That's brilliant. Whoever animated this walking animation, I love you. <laughs> You're a genius. But anyway, we'll go inside this room and you'll find a ghost that we can't actually take on as soon as the ghost starts spawning because the ghost will have water surrounding his heart. Obviously, currently we have fire. The only thing I can take on water using Pokemon logic... Well, it wouldn't be using Pokemon logic because I don't think ice does much against water. But either way... Yes, water. The only way you can take care of water is by freezing it, so... Yeah. And why did I shoot fire at it? I'll fight water with fire. This will surely get Luigi further in the game than any ever before. But anyway, I find an ice ghost and I come back. It's not many places where you can get an ice ghost, so... I usually go back to the room where you first get the ice medallion. Other t other times you can also go into refrigerators in, like, the room where you... F right before you fought, uh... What's his name? The big... The purple guy I mentioned that was so amazing. I can't remember his name, though. I was doing that LP part earlier as well. Who else's his name? I don't mind. I just freeze all these guys and just, uh... Make sure they chill out. Yes, please. And not in the way of uh, standing still. I mean, literally, you need a freeze. And great, we got the Donkey Kong guys here. Now, these these specific types of ghosts, though, this is the first time we've seen them. And this is the only time we ever actually have to use the ice power to stop a ghost, by the way, <laughs> folks, believe it or not. But they, as you can see, they will shoot shock waves, and uh, shock waves are quite possibly the most annoying type of attack in any game ever. Especially when you have banana peels slipping you up. Sakurai! Shake fist. But, uh, yeah, you need... This bo This ghost is really obnoxious. Try and take him out as quick as you can, because... Otherwise, he will hurt a lot. I've lost a lot of health because of these ghosts. I always lose a lot of health because of these ghosts. And they've always just been the most annoying to me. I always have issues with them. In fact, I think it's just purely because they're shockwave ghosts and we can't jump. 
It's a very shocking turn of events. <laughs> Everyone wave at me because that pun was beautiful. <laughs> Can you peel it? Can you peel it? Because it's banana peels? I'm so sorry. <laughs> But anyway, open this chest up and we'll get a key. We need this key to progress into the next segment, which is actually the boss area of the mansion, which actually takes place on the roof's balcony, believe it or not. So, well, not the roof's balcony, just the balcony of uh, this floor. Because we're not actually on the roof. The roof is a bit higher. Little boo peep. Little boo peep. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho. That's a Frenchman being amused. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> But anyway, uh, this boo is one of the more obnoxious ones, if I remember correctly. But just keep going back and forth, and eventually he'll die. Now, one bit of a tool I can really give you for taking out these boos is try to keep a fair distance away, but not too far away. Because if you're too close to the boos, then, uh, well, this will happen, and they'll just sort of kind of ignore you. But if you're far too far away from the boos, obviously you won't be able to hit them with the vacuum. You need to be in the middle ground. You need to be... Somewhat close to the boo so you can hook them, but not too close so they'll just unhook and fly off. It's really weird. <laughs> I don't know, just catching the boos in this game is a bit finicky. I think they did a much better job in Luigi's Mansion 2 in regards to that. But again, it's something for another time. Let's go through here and find out what's new. What is going on? The Game Boy Horror is going to ballistic. Oh. Hello. How are you guys? Fling around the rosies. A pocket full of dozies. Something, something. Ouija's gonna win. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Boo Lossus, a very, very, very frustrating and annoying boss fight. Why? Because, first things first, this is the game's way to try and uh, get over 40 boos out of um, him, because obviously he's multiple boos all trapped into one. So this is the game's way of sort of making the boo count to shoot up. A bit of a lazy way to get it up, but hey, you know. But what you want to do is actually get hold of the ice ghosts and uh, freeze all the miniature boos. In order to break the giant boo losses into the miniature boos, you need to send them all the mini boo parts into the unicorn's head, the horn of the unicorn. And this boss fight goes on for so long. This was this took me over 15 minutes when I was recording it. It just I can't think of any real good tactics to take out of the boos because whenever you shoot the ice at them, well, they'll either try and charge you or they'll run away. When they charge you, it's usually your best attempt to try and take them on, but you need to be really quick. And if you're not quick enough, obviously they'll fly away. You won't be able to hit them. This fight. Oh, I hate it. But after you damage Blue Losses quite a bit with um, by freezing all the miniature boos that make up Blue Losses, you will actually be able to suck, keep hold of the vacuum on the Blue Losses himself and allow him to basically be controlled by you and go into the unicorn. Because as he gets smaller, his jumping speed gets a lot faster, he's a little bit more erratic. So you can use that to your advantage in a way, by uh, sucking him into the unicorn manually. So, but seriously, this boss fight just... I don't like it. It's creepy. It's a nice way to sort of push the, the amount of booze you get by a massive amount. But it's just... It takes so long to do, it's so frustrating. It's, I don't like it. And it takes a lot of luck as well, because you, it, you just need to be lucky, I guess, to actually hit the booze in the first place. Fortunately, it's uh, very easy to not get hit. The only problem with it is it's really just time consuming. The more, obviously though, the more booze you hit, the harder it gets, because obviously I, I was claiming like four to five booze in a single go on the first attack of the fight, but now it's getting a lot harder. So yeah, best best sort of tactic is just to try and wait for him to charge you, I think. Move out the way, 
And uh, while they're sort of trying to taunt you and stunned, then freeze them. Although, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I just have no real good tactic against this boss fight, and every guide I've seen of this game, I haven't seen anyone be able to pull off this boss fight in less than 10 minutes. So yeah, a very long time later, probably about 5 to 10 minutes, we're on the final part of the boss fight so we can suck up the very final taboos. And all in all, if I were to sum up this one boss fight in one word, it would be BOO! BOO! Because of multiple reasons. But of course, after we've done that, Boo losses is destroyed. Actually, we lost quite a bit of health there. And we got our Boo count's gone up to 38 out of 50. Oh! But I'm not feeling blue because of that, because I got the blue key. Which will allow us to get onto the final chapter and final segment of Luigi's Mansion. I believe it's the final one anyway. You seem to have done some serious work. Down straight I've done some serious work, for the love of God. Do me lots of food. Lots of food! <laughs> And lots of money would be good as well. So anyway, time to put the ghosts away. Around, around the ghost go. Something, something. Portrait whore. I, I can't keep, I can't even keep my own tune in my head. It's very annoying. But of course, I think that was a fairly decent chapter. The length of the chapter was quite long, actually. But not long until we finished up this game now, folks. Um, Four more parts to go and we are done. So for the most part, this game isn't too long. It's actually quite a reasonably paced game. And I like the little portrait of Boo Losses, I don't know why. Although Boo Losses is basically just a, a big Boo. Like a big, big Boo. Like in Mario World you have a big Boo. So it's like a big Boo but bigger. So it's, it's a bigger Boo. Big bad, bigger Boo. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with the, those words. Alliteration for the win. But hey, that's this this chapter over and done with. So with that, folks, hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And when we return next time, we'll take on chapter four, the final chapter of the game. Don't be sheepish, people. I'll see you next time. Bye.